What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Hoff Bergman. We've made it into September, and tonight we're going to be answering some questions. Will it compost? We've got organic waste here from our hops production. Last live stream. We're going to be putting that in a composter. We've got straw in the ground. We're going to see what else we might be able to compost. The short story is anything that rots is compostable. Thanks, I do not have the farm stick. I did get to mess around a little bit with the farm stick at PAX East, but I do not have one. I'm using a cheap Logitech joystick. Which one? I don't know. I would say the one that's around 20 bucks. It's got a bunch of buttons on it, which I don't have programmed. I really only use the joystick for this. Oh, I guess that's that. I mean, it would be nice to be able to look around while I do this, but hey. Yeah, well, I mean, I already know. It was in the news video about... about the 1.4 update, so. We're pretending I don't know. And I'm pretty sure I can take this down to the BGA also. We've got so much of this junk. I might, uh, I might try to buy the BGA. I might see if I can get a a belt to pick this up. It's going to be faster than this. Uh, well, it's very understandable to preoccupied with ATS. I mean, after all, ATS makes America look good. It's a great way to tour the country without ever having to step foot in this crazy, crazy country. But the farm stick is a Thrustmaster product. So it's just like one of their other Thrustmaster joysticks, just with some custom green printing on the uh, on the buttons. I have no idea what you mean by what the percentage is of the BGA. Good no gamer, what's up? What's up? In 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 Vida to you too, whatever that means. I guess it means hello. We're gonna say that means hello, because if it doesn't, then I didn't want it. I do need to see what our uh, crops are ready to harvest. Do we have any, any ready to harvest? Um, no, we do not. Oh, our grass may be ready to harvest. I tried to mow that grass 
last week, last month, and it didn't work. Our grass is ready to harvest. Okay. We can do that. Any contracts? Um, no. 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 We are not taking on a root cup crop contract. How's the weather been for everybody? Today it was about 70 degrees here. Started out in the mid 30s, so we had a pretty good, pretty good warm up. Classic spring weather. Has anybody played on the uh, the two South American maps that dropped recently? They've got that custom South American growth calendar. One came out with that the case uh, the case sugar production. Like it was in my BGA video. Organic waste is not a new fill type, so I feel like that was broken down in my uh, BGA video. I want to thank everybody that has used my partner code in the past you may not know that we recently were informed that we made silver partner and that is all 100 thanks to you guys using those partner codes down in the description Get to the VGA later. Genetic J, what is up? Those of you in the States, did you get to see the eclipse? It was cloudy for me. Although I did get to see some of it as it peeped out through the clouds. It was, it was fairly clear for us uh, toward the start. It started around 2 o'clock and ended at around 4.30, according to the app I installed with our, our max coverage, which was 88%. Our max coverage was around 3.17. And I would say probably from about 2.40 till basically the rest of the day. It was fairly cloud covered. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, you've seen one, you've seen, you've seen others. Now, totality would be probably a different story as opposed to a partial. Simper was in path of totality, so he got to see the ring of fire. Uh, we were at 88 and a half. So you were darn close.
I didn't realize it was like a two and a half hour event. But yeah, the totality was like a three or so minutes. We gotta get close to uh, reaching the full and a half. Yeah, from two until four thirty ish. That would be from first contact to last contact. Now the actual being covered is only a few minutes. There we go, now we're full. Austin, I don't have favorites. All right, let's go see how much this buy gas plane is going to cost me. Lucas, thank you for the sub, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And also, thank you all for your generous donations for the No Kid Hungry Drive last month. Jeez, is a bit more than I have. Zero idea what you are what you're even saying there. Thank you for hanging by for a few minutes. Why you go and close? All right, how much do we have still in that hopsy hopsy place? I don't know. It doesn't tell me how much is in the heap. Up next, will it compost? 
the raw. All the uses for compost. Well, you can fertilize it with your manure spreader. You can use it to feed your BGA. We need uh, methane from the BGA for some of our productions, like our grain dryer. Should we invest in bulls, everybody? Should we go for bull juice? Or should we, uh, should we stick with cows? Should we go for our, um, our boiler chicken, or broilers, broiler, or meat chickens? Let's add a poll. What animal should we buy? Bulls. Cows. Moo cows. Um, meat chickens. Goats or sheeps. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Vote. Vote your choice. We'll close our voting once we've selected all our straw off the field. Oh, Bulls has an early lead. Bulls is it's quite the battle. Bulls, Bulls, 40%. I can't fathom bulls as the winner at 33%. They must only be showing me the top choice. Oh no, bulls is winning at 43%. Well, we need more than eight. We got 33 watching. How come, how come only eight have voted? Exercise your chance for democracy. Every vote counts. I mean, so far, bulls are kind of winning here. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I had the pleasure, and I say that loosely, I had the pleasure of going to a turkey processing facility in college. It was a business field trip. And, well, we got to say, let's say, the entire, we got to see the entire process. From the unloading the chickens or turkeys off of the trucks to the uh, stunning of them to the cutting of their throats to the hot water bath and then uh, well let's just say the feathers were beaten off of them thankfully that was behind a a veil of mystery. And we learned what mechanically separated chicken means. Well, just slowly think about it. And it pretty much means exactly what it says. And we got to see a whole room full of people with incredibly sharp knives deboning chicken those individuals are highly skilled and I would not suggest upsetting them at all Now the other factory tour that we saw was a bit more uh, enjoyable 
That was, we got to tour a Hershey's plant. And this particular plant was one of the nine, I think, in the country that did peanut products. They had a peanut roaster on site. Peanuts would come in on a train car. They would roast the peanuts there. And uh, they would make the, the peanut filling in the peanut butter cups. And we got a case. We got a case of peanut butter cups for our for our tour. David, catch you later. Well, it looks like bulls are going to win unless we get some people voting here super quick. And I have another idea. Something else we need to do is we need to go up to our hops field and prep that for next year's harvest. Uh, remember when the storm sounds were new? So immersive. Check something here. Belts. This one does not have a description. Hmm. I was kind of hoping that belt was set up to load from the ground. Be worth trying. All right, we're going to close the voting. Bulls, it is. Buyer facilitate. And buy our bowls. How much these guys cost? Come on. Oh, Angus bowls. Uh, let's get let's get four bowls. Hello, misters. We gotta get you some food.
Now, we won't be really profitable with our juice production. It is a rather long-term affair. And who knows, if we get a fall update for Hofbergman, maybe we'll be able to, to do some insemination like we had back in 19. Lonnie, thank you for being a farmhand for two months, sir. Very appreciate your support. Very much appreciate your support. All right, that's it. Thank you uh, for your three month farm hand membership. I am doing fine tonight. Mighty fine indeed. We're gonna go try something. We're gonna experiment in this fine thunderstorm. Let's roll and see. Let's see if this thing will pick up from the ground. I don't really want to disperse wheat. Okay. Oh, uh, Island Basin. That's a nice map. There were a couple maps posted over in the Discord in the Maps channel last uh, week or so. I'm just letting them bake for a little bit because they both seem to imply that they weren't the final release and I want them to bake a little bit before I go in and check them out. Now the question is, are you brothers? Father and son, alternate egos. Yeah, let's let's not turn around. Let's walk backwards. Get in this and just see if it fills. Hot ah, damn, we're cooking with oil. Okay, okay, everybody. Okay, let's let's calm down. Let's calm down. No need to get super excited.
That's what I was thinking, Binks. Twinsies! And clearly you've got fabulous taste in content creators. And speaking of all of our members, this video is brought to you by CBW Farms LLC and Joe Six Pack American. Thank you for being farm barons. We also got our credits updated. I was way, way busy last week with all those map videos. I didn't get a chance to update the credits, but I did yesterday. So we will see that tonight at the end of the stream. Nearly missed our turn. Let's go fill this thing up the easy way. Did anybody figure out what the uh, what the secret is on that one map that had those custom collectibles that came out last week? I think there were seven collectibles. I was able to find six and then I gave up. map it was. It's one of the nine. And they basically filled in a picture at the playground. And then the picture kind of was alluding that there was something down at the mill. Fill this trailer up. This trailer full. It is full. Dang, damn it. Alright. We probably have a little bit still in that thing. I mean, with my memory right now, what happened in last week stays in last week. <laughs> uh, almost literally.
Well, it's genetic. I look forward to uh, to seeing it when you get think it's at a point where it's it's uh, it's viewable, shareable. If you're willing to share it. I started to make a map back in 17 and realized I didn't have the flair for uh, for the details. Isn't that the way life is? Where about the time you finish a project, you discover an, an easier way of doing it. Did you share it? Did you share pictures? I have to go back and look. Now I think, I don't know, I, I've not messed with Giants Editor for a long time. The, the end map, the end game creation is, is, I don't know, I, I guess I came, I got better with it than uh, Giant's Editor. It seemed like a lot of the functions of the editor were a, bit of, a little bit obscure. All right, I guess that is it then. Uh, let's go put these away and then we'll continue our Willow compost with grass. Let's go mow some grass. Which of our tractors is the most powerful? 170 HPs. 170 HPs it is. Let's 
Scooter! What is up, sir? What is up? Well, <clears throat> let's just jump to the end. Anything that will rot will compost. So, in game, anything that will rot your root crops, your manure, your hay, straw, grass, silage, organic waste from various side byproducts. I thought I would, I thought when I was trying to come up with a title, the first thing that popped in my head was Will It Blend? Remember those YouTube videos back in the day, Will It Blend, where you had the blend -o matic or whatever, and the guy in the lab coat and the goggles, and he would put all kinds of stupid stuff in his blender. Will it blend an iPhone? Yes, it will. Right? Did I put the mowers back at the farm? Let's look real fast. I think I put these mowers away. Let's just keep tabbing up. Oh, there's a mower. Oh, if there's one mower there, there's the other one. All right, so let's just... And we uh, chew. Look, there's there there's a mower. Now Gallagher was was the guy with the hammer and watermelons. Just just YouTube will it blend in another tab, of course, because never. Never go away from my fabulous content. Will it blend? Basically, he was selling some industrial strength blender by demonstrating it would blend just about anything. So I thought, well, let's let's take a spin on that. And I had straw on the ground. I knew I had organic waste up at the hops plant. So I said, will it compost? Now there is, I think, a compost mod that recently either came out or got updated. But I don't know how involved it is. And of course you can put compost on the field, so you can sell compost. I think I'm um, pretty confident you can take compost and put it in the biogas plant. I'm pretty sure we did that last version of the map. Well, one of the genetic chain, one of the things that I think City Skylines really did good. Yeah, they've taken a lot of flack with their with their optimization and the performance of City Skylines 2 when it came out. But one of the things that I think they did a really good job on was that the editor that they will be releasing at some point is basically the same editor that they used um to make the, the maps already. Are the, the in-game terrain editor is basically the same as what they use to make 
all of the, uh, the maps that are available in the game. I feel like this field is flatter than it was in a previous version. What do y'all think? Do y'all think that this field is flatter than it was in previous iterations? You are compostable for sure. Thanks, you are compostable. In game, I don't know. I don't know how that'll work out in game, but yeah. I feel like we're having an eclipse in game. It's just raining. Isn't there a mod that came out that would penalize you if you did things? Like in the rain. But I vaguely remembered reading that. Jim, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Hope your day is going well. And I hope if you were in line with the with the eclipse that you were able to see it. It was a little sunny for me. Just looking at the the waves of the grass. You know that was a new feature in 22. The foliage shader to make it look like it's wind. The wind is moving, flowing through the field. Maybe it's time we sit back and reflect on on what all we came and got in 22 was new like I said I'm hoping Giants every day I'm hoping Giants has some news for us because we are about 90 days away from FarmCon 2024 And the best way to sell tickets to FarmCon would be to announce the schedule of the sessions and then have the sessions loaded chock full of uh, something new coming. Yeah, it was cloudy here. We got to see some of it. Some of the good parts was it was so cloudy that as the clouds moved through, you were able to look at it without any any issue because there was so much cloud cover. But of course, 
sure you have to be careful because then then a cloud sent out some more and then it gets really too bright. Well, we had some some glasses. Some plastic filters, I guess. Just another excuse to go outside and look up at the sky. I did tell some folks if, you know, suddenly there was a cloud or a shadow of a big spaceship that comes overhead, that's that's not normal and that would be when you would when you would start to panic fine glad to be able to dream with you guys hang out with you guys for a little while in the evening chill out relax clear the mind of the busy day refocus and then uh, recharge and get ready to go back to it tomorrow we got a super busy month coming up I've got to empty our entire building our entire building is getting renovated over the course of Two and a half months. So I have three days, three days, the end of April to evacuate the entire building of technology. And then we need to get it all back put together by on August 27th or something. No farm coming for me. No, no uh, European trip in the middle of that. have any bales of hay any bales straw 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 no we only have straw. these these bulls what do these bulls take 
Hey, Silege, TMR. They will take grass. So we can go feed them some grass and get them started. Do I own a tether? I do not. Uh, I got a dryer. I got a. I got a grass dryer. I don't need to buy a tether. Stewie, this is not a 4x map. This is a standard map. We know this because we are at the extreme southern edge of the map. And you might not be able to see because of the screen, but the coordinates are 1087 by 1934. So a standard size map, the extreme southern coordinate would be 2048. On a 4x map, the extreme southern coordinate would be 4096, or basically double 2048. So since we're very near the bottom and it's only 1936, mathematically this has to be a standard size map. I would not want this to be a 4x map with the amount of manual labor that this map has in, in stored for us. All of the custom production going on. Custom animals. It'd be way too overwhelming. I feel at a four X size. with one pass, but I think we are. Barely, but I think if we're careful. We can basically get it. Alright, we don't need to dry this because... Because we have a grass dryer at the corner. So let's go windrow, we'll collect this. We'll take one load and put it in our compost pile. Uh, it'd be nice to have that farm set up. Folks who are part of the Discord after the stream, I got something I want to test. I need I need somebody to test. So I'll be posting in the Discord. Keep an eye out. I'm basically building out a. Um, I'm going to replace my off-the-shelf NAS 
dish storage here at the house with a a custom built jobber and I spent a fair bit of time over the weekend doing some testing with some hardware I already had and I had this idea because I've got the gaming system here and I've got the office system I've got a couple little uh, little mini computers that I've talked about in the past and I've got a Windows a Windows handheld and it can be a little problematic a little bit of a pain in the arse to uh, to juggle save games between all those right because I got to move mods around I gotta move save games around and I thought you know what there's a way around this that would solve this problem and that is if I only if I put everything on a multiplayer server and I just connected to that server from whatever system I was gonna play on right one of those light bulb moments which made me think, are there other people that just set up dedicated servers for the pure sake of being able to jump from device to device and easily transfer and connect to and play the same save game? I don't know. Maybe it's a little, maybe it's a little, um, a little bit on the extravagant side. But at any rate. Last night I set up a a local dedicated server on the network and I need to test it with some folks alright Dozer thanks for dropping by thanks for watching hope your day is not too long I think your third shift right When do you get off? I also thought it might be important to brush up on my dedicated server knowledge in the event that you know there is something that happens this fall. Do a little, a little rake in here. Of the so let's 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 do a little theorizing here. Of all the maps that Giants has released, six I believe. Well, do we? Yeah, six maps. Of those six maps, which maps do you think would come in the next version? Elm Creek, Erlengrot, Hulk Belarun, Silver Run Forest, Zilonka, and then we had the Horse Aggravation map. Right? I feel like Zilonka would come to whatever comes next. Silver Run is a very good, very good possibility because it does have the roller coaster. 
I feel like maybe it's Silver Run and Zilonka. And then maybe we get a third new map. Maybe we maybe we only get uh, maybe we only get Zilonka and Silver Run comes as a mod map. I think I think I would prefer that option. Silver Run as a mod map. Zilonka and at least one new map. Now, in 22, we had two new maps, and then we had the return of Erlengrot. If Giants completely abandons physical media with the next version, then uh, there's no need to limit the file size. Maybe we could see even more maps come at release. Yeah, Silver Run has some innovations that we haven't seen. Further, we've got the... Um, what the heck is that? We've got the... The water. The change in the running water. Uh, in the morning, you can have those low clouds. Of course, we have the... The buildable roller coaster. And the boats. We have the buildable um, pianos in Zilonka. I was hoping we'd see more water in Zilonka and, and be able to see more of the Silver Run Forest water. Is the farm stick back in stock? Last I looked, it was still back ordered. I was kind of surprised to see the um, that extend Erlingrot extended map last week. I thought that was so similar to Erlingrot, clearly based on Erlingrot. I was surprised they allowed it. I mean, there was a belief in the previous version of the game that they would not allow edits of any of the current maps they would allow edits of previous versions maps but like fs19 you, you couldn't do you couldn't submit an edit of of um Fellsburn or ravenport but those would get rejected but uh, it seemed like they don't have that restriction anymore if that ever was a restriction artemis the chill is going well the chill is going well we're just here breaking in the rain because why not we're seeing what can compost we've bought some bowls so once we get them to 100% health, we'll uh, maybe see how much juice we can get. Like I said I got my hands on the farm stick a little bit at PAX. Didn't really use it that much. Uh, but I 
I didn't get to get my hands on it. Yeah, it's got lots of buttons. It's the buttons have been silk screened to to demonstrate some farm functions. set up on a machine that was mostly intended for the bale stacking but I don't know how many people actually used it for bale stacking we had a pseudo uh, bale stacking challenge going on amongst us at PAX none of us were, were messing with the joystick I think my best time was like 124 ish for eight bales. And that was with an unfamiliar mouse. Or like a real mouse. What's up, the dark one? What is up? I said hey to you earlier, but maybe you weren't paying attention. Maybe you're away. Away from your station. I mean, if I went down for a short nap right now, it would be a, a long nap. Allie Lee, welcome. Welcome. I actually forgot to turn my alarm on last night. I got up with about 40 minutes before we had to walk out the door. The Bro Gamers, welcome. Glad you could come by. What are we doing here? Well, we're just chilling, raking some grass. We're gonna get ready to collect it here and put it into our grass dryer. I need to feed my bulls before the day is out. We're playing a little game, Will It Compost, here on the Hofbergman map. So we're going to put some grass in the old compost pile and see what it does. We've already composted some straw. We have composted some organic waste. Uh, we have composted some manure. And we've used some compost on our garden so that our carrots can start growing for our rabbits. And then the weather just started to rain. Well, thank you for watching. Glad you enjoy them. Ah, uh, 
Uh, the dark one. I tend to avoid king mods. I can't trust them anymore. I can't trust them anymore with respect to... Is it really up there by the map author, or did someone else just stick it up there? There's way many too, th way too many things up there that were uploaded by someone other than the map author or the mod author. Had good, or the, the website had good promise, but then just went downhill. Gamers, I basically use the Giants Mod Hub. And I really don't go looking for mods anymore. I don't use Terraform, so I don't know. Grounded Dad. I try to use Terraform when it first came out, and the only thing I was successful at doing was digging a hole. I try to use it for some of several other functions and they would work for a short amount of time and then suddenly things just did not act at all the way I was expecting them to. And quite honestly, I, I don't have a lot of patience for mods that don't work because there's so many mods out there. I don't need, I shouldn't need to struggle with a mod just because other people think it's great when I am struggling with it to work, I'll just move on to something else. But bro gamers, I do have just some general, general guidance I would use when looking at a site. And that is basically to go to the Giants Mod Hub and see what mods are up there. See what mods are recently published up there. And then take that information. And when you're looking at other mod sites, take note as to if those mods you saw on the Giants Mod Hub are also listed on that other site. They probably are and then click on one just to see what happens click on it as if you're going to download it and see what happens and if it downloads the file then that mod site has taken the download rehosted it they are effectively taking credit from the modder because Giants pays modders per download. So they're basically taking money away from the original author by rehosting the file. If when you click on the file, it takes you to the Giants Mod Hub page and then you download it from there, then good. They're basically directing you to the Mod Hub and allowing you to download it from the Mod Hub so that the Mod Hub modder gets their credit because Giants does not allow direct linking. And direct linking means when you click on it, it downloads. So the only way to link to the Mod Hub is to link to the page. So if you've got a mod that's published on the Mod Hub and on this third party site, you click to download it on the third party site and you get the file. That would be direct linking. Therefore, they're clearly rehosting it. 
uh, yeah, you can you can paint with Terra Farm. So, for example, you can you can use a bulldozer, you can use a leveler, you can use a bucket to let's say in the forest make a make a road, and you'll smooth out the road in theory, and then you will have it paint like a dirt texture behind the blade and that would work for a little bit of time for me but then it would just it just would stop and I would have absolutely no idea why but you know it works fine for theirs it's probably been updated it's probably just fine Let's use this tracker. So, one of the things with King Mods is... Is I know for a fact that there have been mods uploaded to there by other people other than the mod author. And I know that the mod authors have issued takedown requests to King Mods. And those takedown requests seem to be haphazardly honored. So sometimes the takedown request will, will be honored and the mod will come down. Other times it will be ignored. Or it takes multiple requests for something to come down. I know that there have been mods that have been clearly, clearly rips out of D DL DLC which would be a violation of basically every every civilized country's copyright laws and therefore shouldn't be hosted up there and take down requests being ignored and such so that's just what I've heard and, and seen But at the same point in time, there are legitimate mods published up there by legitimate people. And that's their choice. Which means it's kind of difficult to, to discern the absolute trash from the treasure. a question uh, I feel like there must be uh, comments I'm missing uh, typically yes unless I know that they will link back to the mod hub as opposed to just host a file somewhere else so like this site the site that this map comes from, lsfarmingmods.com, I would consider to be a a fine site that is um, that is safe to download from.
And then, you know, you've got all of the itch.io sites where modders will publish their own work, which is great. Absolutely great. No problem with that whatsoever. Other than discoverability. It's like, it's, you have to know it's there to know it's there. But I get it. I get it that there's sometimes quite the struggle in getting your mod on the Giants Mod Hub. But the reality is that's the only place that console players can get their mods from. So if you want them... If you want your mod to have maximum visibility, maximum use... Then, uh... Then you gotta go for the Giants Mod Hub. And yeah, you gotta deal with some of their testing... Testing woes. And frustrations so grass will compost yeah Nexus mods although I don't think Nexus mods does any sort of quality quality checking yeah, that's the that's the other thing. Are there any mod sites other than the Giants mod hub that actually tests things, where you can have some level of 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 expectation that what you're getting is actually what you're getting? Yeah, don't forget, don't forget. Like two months ago, there was a big big deal with a very nasty mod floating around the mod sites that would delete your save games. And all your mods just by activating it. So mods can have malware. Brian, glad you were able to get the map and mess with it. Oh, no, I'm not saying that the mod hub is perfect. It's got its own issues with respect to being able to keep up with mod submissions and overall quality of mod testing, or should I say consistency of mod testing. I feel way too much of the mod testing is left up to the individual tester. I don't feel that there's enough of a documented testing process that all mods must go through. I feel that there's too much um, maybe individuality in there from what some comments that I've heard from modders where things get rejected because the tester doesn't think that it's clear enough or doesn't doesn't think that players would would be able to use it or enjoy it. I think things need to be tested on their merit. Does it do what it says it does? Yes or no? Can you replicate its function? Yes or no? Does it cause any errors, noticeable errors in game? Yes or no? Right? Gamers, I feel that this is probably the best map out there for farm sim. It's definitely the most revolutionary map, or should I say evolutionary map. I 
that has lots of innovations that have somewhat made their way into mods and other maps. hands-on process with this map. Uh, well, I mean, it's just download part one when you go to bed. Download part two when you get up in the morning and go out you're on your day. Download part three over lunch. If you, if you're if you're someone that works, if you've got a, access to a computer at work, download part one at work, put it on a flash drive, download part two when you get home from work, download part three, you know, in the morning. Issues. Now the description is misleading. It says this map will not work with the Platinum Expansion because he doesn't have any sell points for the Platinum Expansion productions. Well, if that's the case, then 90% of the maps on the Giants Mud Hub don't work for Platinum Expansion because they definitely don't have sell points. Alrighty, we are drying our grass into hay. But, uh, let's, I mean, I'll show you right here. We've got the AGI pack, the Antonio Cario pack. We've got the Goo Veal pack, hay and forage pack. Aggravation, the Kubota pack. Uh, Oxbow Pack, Platinum Expansion, Precision Farming, Premium Expansion, Pumps and Hoses, Straw Harvest, Vermeer Pack. We've got them all activated. I activate every DLC for every map tour. Alright, Binks, catch you later. up sir what is up glad you could drop by and say howdy i am live we were able to go live today thankfully tomorrow may be a different story but we're here today the uh, farmer andy put put the bit in the description about this map not supporting the platinum expansion only because he doesn't have cell points set up for the platinum expansion production and like i said if we use that as a benchmark for supporting a dlc then 90 percent of the maps on the giants mod hub don't support the platinum expansion in fact you may not know this but there's a little bit of a Easter egg in my thumbnails. Typically, if a map has support for the Platinum Expansion with respect to cell points, I will use the FS22 Platinum Expansion logo on the thumbnail. If it doesn't, then I'll use the standard FS22 logo on the thumbnail. So a little bit of an Easter egg there. Some people may have caught up on it, other people may not have. Of course, on the thumbnails, we have icons for the various platforms. So if the map is for console, then there will be a PS5, 
or PlayStation and an Xbox icon on the thumbnail, as well as PC. If it's a PC only map, then only there will be a, a circle with PC written in it. That is to represent a computer or a PC and Mac. So in theory, just glancing at the thumbnail will tell you, can I sell platinum stuff? Is it available on console or PC? Is it a 4X map or not? Typically I'll put 4X on the thumbnail. Or in some cases, 16X if it's that size of a map. You'll almost always get a shot of the main starting farm on the thumbnail. Oh, genetic J, we've got that problem with my youngest. Open your eyes and look around, son. You might actually see something. That is a very much an easy fix with the sell everything mod. Right? That Schultz guy had one good idea. Oh, burn. I wonder if he's here. If he is, that should draw him out of... Out of, uh... Lurk mode. Tonight might be his bowling night. I think it's more like a one-hit wonder. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that animation. Such detail. We have animation of the grass being shot into the drying loft. neat. I didn't expect to see that. The biggest, the biggest thing is it's sad that that mod even has to exist, right? It's sad that every map should already be a 5 out of 5. Right, the whole, the whole idea around the scoring methodology was that it would, uh, 
it would reference how how farm sim 22 a map is is it is it just a blind conversion from 19 or 17 or did somebody actually take some effort and incorporate new functions into the map right we were seeing a lot of just blind carbon copies in 17 and 19. Scooter's workbench, 35 months. Dang, we have been around for a while. No, it's not when he's not working around. But you know, back in 19 and 17, there were so many maps that were just, just straight up conversions from 15 or 17 that really didn't add too much. There were Polish maps usually. Polish and UK maps usually that were using horrific textured buildings. It was like looking at something that was 320 by 240 right next to an HD an HD picture and we haven't seen a ton of that in 22 which is good maybe the new texturing stuff did that maybe people finally got fed up working with old stuff but every so often those old textures make their make their appearance oh you know it, well I mean it just looked bad I don't have immersion I'm sitting here chatting with you guys Does any live streamer get immersion? We're constantly distracted by people. Jeez, I'm trying to play the game here, man. But I mean, don't you think that every everything that you can grow and make should be sellable? I mean, there was a there was a map a rather popular highly anticipated map that came out early in fs22's life where you could grow oats but you couldn't sell oats the ai planted oats but heaven forbid if you did a contract on an oat field where would it go because nobody accepted oats I know I would be pretty annoyed if I planted oats only to find out five months later I couldn't do anything with them. I really don't think it's asking too much to be able to sell things you can make or grow. So if that was a common fact, then the sell everything mod wouldn't need to exist. There for a point in time, there were maps coming out with new fill types and they didn't have the ability of selling those fill types or there were mods that came out that introduced new fill types, but they didn't add any uh, any placeable sell points that would take those with their download. What is a production point that that doesn't have uh, look at that that doesn't have the ability to sell the production you make?
Yeah, there's a lot going on, Ryan. Now, once you get away from the farm, your frame should be better. This is definitely not a map for lower end systems or systems that are pushing the, the extent of your resolution. So if you're playing at, let's say, 4K, you can try dropping it down to 1440p. In theory, the graphics card is putting out half as many pixels. If you do 1440p, you can try dropping it to 1080. Um, you can try dropping back your distance view a little bit. And I think, I think maybe, maybe, maybe the Giants could, uh, could do something with respect to, um, defining some more global categories like liquids so anything that's a liquid could go into those liquid tankers and you know if you did an anhydrous mod well maybe you could you could somehow register anhydrous as a liquid in your mod and therefore anything that takes liquids would take it maybe maybe from a designing the game to accommodate new things maybe it's already like that i don't know precision farming be more extendable so if you wanted to do compost you didn't have to have your own custom version of it just to incorporate compost if there was a way to basically add your field type to let's say the register of what is a, um, a nitrogen source I don't program, I'm not a programmer, I just am an idea person. Well, and does that then come back to Giants for for lack of, uh, of good documentation? Or is it documented and it comes down to modders not going and seeking that documentation out? And that's where like mod testing with the mod hub and consistency and basically they submit something and be like, hey, you need to change this to use this categorization thing, right? Well, not just reject it and say, it needs to use categories. Reject it and then maybe send them a document that shows them what you're talking about. Don't reject it just because the Google Translate German is not the German that a German-speaking person would put in. Right? I'm sorry, we're not all German-speaking. And I had I had that chat with Joss at PAX. That, you know, American modders are having issues where their mod's being rejected because the German's not right. And he was saying that he's... He's used 
Google Translate and put in his English and translate it to German and they take it just fine. And I said, well, maybe, maybe your German English is German enough that when Google Translate translates it back to German, it's, it's correct. So your German English is already German syntaxed. Whereas, whereas those of us who don't have German background are putting in a non, non-German syntaxed English, and then you know Google Translate's doing a bad job. Oh, and do would be fabulous X-ray. That would be a fabulous feature in whatever comes next. Yeah, Delilah, I'm going to let that one bake for a little bit. It seemed to be as if he said that that was like his initial release. Not his final release. So I want that one to bake a little bit more. And I looked at it over the weekend. It didn't look like it had any updates to it yet. Well, and then another big problem is just the backlog. When you submit something that takes nearly a month, and then in the meantime, you see other things come out that are similar to what you've already got submitted and waiting on. And then by the time your thing comes out, you know, there might be one or two other things that are identical to what you do. And you're like, oh my god, it's been sitting in the whole queue. Right? I'm not a copycat. They've all been sitting in the same whole queue. Well, like I said, I wanted to bake a little bit. I don't know, is, is he the map factory? That is publicly stated that he had X number of maps in production. And it was just churn them out one after the other. Which really meant that he never went back and fixed anything. Alright, had another mapper that just uses initials. Yeah, I mean, I've had Schultz send me stuff. Like, hey, you know. This is going to go to the mod hub. And then, like a month later, it's still not released. I'm like, what's what's going on with this?
2,000 liters. I'm glad that this dryer only takes electricity. Takes a lot. Yeah, like I said, Scooter, I feel like it's too subjective by tester. Does it really matter how much frost is somewhere? No. Does it change how functional it is? Does it does it affect performance? Schultz classically has issues with thumbnails. And then they eventually release that thumbnail tool. Right? And I think he used that thumbnail tool to make his thumbnails. And they still had problems with his thumbnails. And it's like, look, I'm using your tool. What else what else do you want out of me? I made your thumbnail with your tool and it comes back clean with the testing scripting so what's your problem with it So it is 10 o'clock. I'm going to finish collecting this grass off this field and then we're going to call it a night. <laughs> uh, I think it's... They, they know it's made by him and they reject it. What's the current number of mods pending testing? anybody know I tell you what would totally suck would be if uh, let's say Giants makes a, re a, a, a recent announcement that Farm Sim 25 is a thing. Let's just say. 237 in how many days or weeks? So let's say soon Giants announces Farm Sim 25 will be a thing. And then and then let's say they are not successful in knocking down that pending testing number. Nine days, seriously, just nine days. So let's say let's say they have 250 mods pending testing, all the way up through and into the release of 2025, Farm Sim 25. It would just totally suck 
to be in that list of 250 mods that gets tested and released after the bulk of the player base has abandoned. Right, that would just totally rip. Congratulations, your mod made it to a game that no one really plays anymore. Now, of course, not everybody will move to the new farm sim on day one. But still... Well, I've said before, and they'll never do it, but I've said before that there should be two levels of mod hub, Giants mod hub. One level that we have now that goes through the rigmaroles of the testing and, and validation, right? And those could be stamped certified mod hub approved or something. Mod hub tested and certified and then there can be a different mod hub the wild west mod hub where things are just run through the very rudimentary of tests is this malware yes or no is this using licensed content yes or no and then it gets published in the and the unvalidated mod hub. And maybe the unvalidated mod hub is still PC only. But what we so desperately need is a single pane of glass for mods to be published to. And why do we not have that single pane of glass? Well, we don't have it because it's so frustrating for folks to get things into the official channel. So they go and make their own itch.io pages, which is fine. But as we have pointed out, discoverability is a struggle there. So unless you heavily publicize your mods on Facebook or get well-known creators to publicize them for you you can have really quality stuff that no one ever knows about and your player base is limited to just a fraction of a subset of the overall farm sim player base because there's far more console players than PC players sorry to tell you that is a fact there are far more console farm sim players than PC. And then we get tons of these third party mod sites that basically steal from everyone and try to be that single pane of glass. But all they do is profit from other people's work. So we should not endorse those sites, we should not visit those sites. And we should not encourage those sites to exist. third-party sites wouldn't exist if they didn't profit royally off of everyone else's work right your itch.io pages are getting scraped so everyone that downloads an itch.io mod that's published somewhere else that might that modder is not getting the opportunity to even potentially get a donation because they don't even know the itch site exists they're just grabbing it from a from an aggregate that has stolen it off the itch page. 
any mod published on the mod hub gets gets some amount of money per download pennies per download well when it's downloaded from a third party site they get nothing I would say don't expect don't expect whatever comes next to be revolutionary expect it to simply be an evolutionary tick whatever comes after 22 will be an evolutionary tick to 22 there will be more refinement in some areas There'll be a feature or so added, I'm sure. But it's more about the refinement. Think about how building and how dealing with, right? Think about how revolutionary build mode was in 22 compared to how it was in 19. Or how dealing with things that you had placed in 22 or 19 was different, right? Oh my God, if you built out a fence, every little segment of fence would be in your garage. So in that respect, 22 was a huge uptick, but it didn't really add that feature. It was a, a very nice refinement of that feature. You know, in order to, instead of placing fences one section at a time like we do with gates. Right? No, we just we just draw our fence out now. And it grows and shrinks and it it gets sticky and it connects to other gates. An amazing refinement. We got our carrots growing. So we'll be able to feed our rabbits. I want to thank you all for coming out and watching tonight. We will hopefully maybe be back here tomorrow night, continuing on with our Hoff Bergman playthrough. Then again, Giants might drop a map or two or three or four in one night. And in that case, I'll be doing a marathon of recording videos and trying to get those out as soon as possible. And until next time, happy farming.